So we feel like we picked something off of every record, and it was great to pick one off of Into the Now because that's one that we did by ourselves. We wrote it, produced it, recorded it, mixed it, all in this studio that that was uh, a studio Frank Hanna had when he lived up in Pollock Pines, next in the same building next to a bowling alley in Pollock Pines, California. So, and it, but it, it turned out great into the now, and so we got to put that into the set list there at Abbey Road Studios. So it was great that we got to pick something from, and and even a deeper track like Miles Away. Mm-hmm. So it's fun to pick even deeper tracks that maybe people might not be that familiar with. So it was a lot of fun. Now, Jeff, I've been going to see you guys since Modern Day Cowboy was released to radio back when you guys played Summerfest in Milwaukee, I want to say 1987. And one of the things I've always stand true with you guys is you bring it each and every night. And after all these years, do you still get that rush, Jeff, when you hit the stage? Absolutely, and I'll tell you what, I'll never forget the rush in 1987, the first summer fest we did, and it was fantastic, just packed with people, just Milwaukee, one of the best crowds you can ever, ever you know, ask for, and uh, I mean, I just remember people just clinging on to chain link fences and just rocking and just, just having a great time, and uh, summer fest, uh, especially that first one, and all of them for that. Matter of fact, it's, it's just very special. Love Summerfest. It's a great vibe. Now, Jeff, with everything going on in the country right now with the coronavirus, what have you been doing to keep yourself busy? Because I know you guys are supposed to be on tour right now. I know, yes. And um, uh, nobody's on tour right now. And uh, I mean, everything had to be shut down. And it's the right thing to do to try to get a handle on this virus and then hopefully find a cure for it, you know, or an antibiotic or whatever it is that we need for it uh, because we're doing all the social distancing. So, yes, there's a lot of things different. As a matter of fact, I never was that good in English, so homeschooling, <laughs> adverbs, verbs, linking verbs, oh, my gosh. It's, uh, I'm learning some things that I don't remember learning way back when, so <laughs> homeschooling, uh, playing baseball in the backyard, riding dirt bikes in the backyard, we're fortunate to have a nice a little piece of property to do that on and just to get some outside air and and uh it's tough times for everybody man it really is for everyone not just some for all of us so yeah there's a lot of things differently uh you know uh just to go to the store it's like you got to gear up and do all the right things and <laughs> It's, it's it's always been enough of a task to go shopping for food, but to do it, you know, mm-hmm. it, all uh, masked up and gloved up and all that, it's really, I mean, it makes you have to think about the process of things you never thought twice about, you know? Exactly, and how good we have it uh, is exactly uh, yeah. one of the things that goes through my mind. Well, Jeff, I want to say something. To be honest, on the way into the studio today, uh, and this is no lie, I, I have the Bar 7 CD in my uh, in my truck and i also uh, at home have a copy of your country album that you released now jeff do you see yourself doing another side project or is everything tesla from here on out right now everything's tesla from uh, here on out uh bar seven in all honesty was just uh uh to pacify trying to in hopes of tesla getting back together which it ended up everything working out which was a lot of pieces that had to fall in the right places and now we're back out doing it, and we're very fortunate, and we're very grateful. But uh, Bar 7, you know, means a lot to me. But um, I'm, I'm happy that Tesla's back together, and uh, unfortunately it didn't work out for Tommy, and we were going down the same dead-end street, and next, you know, Frank finds Dave Rude on MySpace mm-hmm. as Tesla being one of his inspirations, and now Dave Rude is a great, artist great person brings a lot to the table and is a fun guy to to make albums with as well so he's the guitar player for tesla and 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 we're we're still continuing and now of course with everything being shut down but as soon as you know they open the gates back up we are raring to go all right well no jeff after 34 years at tesla i've got i've got them all on cd if you could go back is there any one song in your catalog that you might add a little cowbell to 
Yeah. <laughs> I love cowbell. You can't go wrong with cowbell. As a matter of fact, you've got to be careful that you don't want to add it to too many songs because then it's oversaturation, right? Exactly. But you can't. I don't think you can hardly go wrong with the cowbell. And like I said, you just got to make sure you don't overdo it. Well, but, Jeff- uh, to think of a song that I would add cowbell to, I'd have to think about that for a few minutes. Right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, here in Wisconsin, everything goes better with cowbell. You know that. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Hey, you know what? Not just Wisconsin. Everywhere, man. But absolutely, especially in Wisconsin. Cowbell, you can't go wrong. Now, Jeff, with this new release, uh, I know I see it's on DVD and on vinyl, which I just love vinyl coming back. Uh, where's the best place to pick up uh, you know, your copies of, of this new Tesla album? I believe the best place right now is on com, on our website. And uh, that way I think they got all the packages available. And, um, and you know, especially with everything being shut down, it's, it's the only way is, I think, going to the Internet to get hard copies of everything, you know? Exactly. Because things have definitely changed. So, uh, and a lot of people, I think, are what they call streaming it. And and so it's still available to them. And for people that want the hard copies, I believe you have to order it off, off of Tesla the Band website. All right. Well, Jeff, we always uh, let the artists pick the song out of the interview. Out of the Tesla catalog, which one is uh, the special one to Jeff Keith? Oh, they're all special. Uh, they're all so special. Um, I'll tell you what. Um, to pick one, just right off the top of my head, how about Stir It Up? Oh, what a great tune. Jeff Keith, it was always, uh, you were always welcome on Rock and Metal Revival, and it was a pleasure talking to you today. From Pride, there's White Lion and Radar Love, the old golden earring tune right here on Rock and Metal Revival. And, uh, boy, Jerry, was, I, I wish I was this wondering whole... why I, I recognized that. Yeah. That was a cover I, tune? That wasn't there? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, exactly. Really? <laughs> you know what, man? The one bad thing about uh, this whole thing for us is is you've been waiting as long as I have to have Jeff Keith on the show. I know. I know. Because, yeah. yeah, I had questions for him, too, damn it. But Yeah, yeah. and, uh, there, you know, the thing about it is is there's so much, how should I put it, there's so many questions to ask, and now artists actually have the time to talk to us. Yeah, that's for sure, you know? too. That's very true. Yeah, and, and so, and we're in two different studios, which uh, kind of sucks in a way. Mm. But uh, yeah, I, I want to thank Jeff Keith for coming on the show. I like this. Uh, I like this uh, five man London Jam. I like the album a lot. You know, uh, it's a different vibe than the first one. Yeah, I'm you know? usually not a big acoustic thing, but I like the way they do it. I'm. I. You know what? I do like acoustic music. I just got real tired of it when MTV did that unplug thing back in the day. And everybody was doing unplugged stuff. Until Kiss did it. Did you watch that Kiss uh, breaking the band? Yeah. Yeah. I did. Dude, yeah. I didn't know that Peter Chris did that on their last their last gig together on that final tour. You, you didn't? Didn't know he just smashed his drums right by man, he was throwing them down there. It was like they were he was aiming for Paul. <laughs> it was like, whoa. Yeah, I didn't know he did that. That's awesome. Like, yeah, yeah, I got were, way yeah. more respect for Peter after seeing that. Because <laughs> Paul smashed his guitar and the crowd's going wild and he thinks it's him. He thinks it's all him. And then he looks back and Peter's got his whole drum smashed down below, right back, right behind him. And yeah, it's funny. Well, you know, laugh. actually, the night that they, uh, they were supposed to, well, I think it was one of the nights that they were recording that whole thing. Mm-hmm. I was supposed to see a with uh, his solo band at T.A. Vern's in Milwaukee, and they canceled the show and gave no reason why they canceled. Huh. They just canceled the show, and he was going to New York to do that gig. Oh. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I I, I dug the Kiss Unplugged. I still listen to it today. I'd like to hear this new Jack uh, Russell, uh, Twice Shy Unplugged. I'm I'm waiting to hear uh, the Zeppelin thing he does. Yeah, that, that sounds like with later name. in the year for that one. Yeah. So we want to thank, like I said, Jeff Keith on this. Uh, we want to thank everybody for listening, all of our uh, 
affiliates for putting up with us. And next week on the show, we just played a White Lion song. We're going to have uh, the voice of White Lion, former member of White Lion, uh, Mike Tramp with us. Ah, nice, nice. Yeah. And you a White Lion fan at all? Uh, I'm a fan of their guitar player. Yeah. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the music, but uh, their guitar player is amazing. And, eh, I mean, there's a couple songs that I, I dig by them, but there's that Wait song that kind of... Uh, they turned into the poppy, hairy, hair girl band, you know? <laughs> but that was what everybody was doing at that time. I, I Think know, about what they but I always, did. But I always liked their guitar. I know, I did the same thing, you know? I had my hair yeah. all puffed up and stuff. But, you know, <laughs> you <know. laughs> all right, well, we'll talk to Mike Tramp. He's got a new album dropping uh, next Friday, and so we'll have Mike on the show. And uh, until next week, uh, stay safe, stay well, and don't drink and drive. Smoke and fly. Peace.